Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first quarter of the year 2020. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this year, 2020, um, is here, and we're going to be looking at each month. Please remember, in order to receive the extended of this reading, you got to um, use the link here or there to join and uh, to join the channel so you can receive your extended reading. Wow, 2020 is here, isn't it? Wonderful. Oh, my God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So in the first three months in the general reading, because this is the general reading, go pick up your um, zodiac reading because this is the general reading, but it is always advised to check out the general reading before we get in the um, before we get in your zodiac reading because there, sometimes there are messages in general reading that can help you with your own zodiacs. Okay, so what we see here is water, water, water. So the hermit is always about information. The hermit is that information is coming out, okay? And what is happening in transpiring is that in the month of January, the energy of the hermit is here. Now, with the energy of the hermit in the month of January, this is saying that information is going to be coming out in January um, that you were not aware of. Now, this could be worldwide governments um and that sort of a thing so unexpected information will be coming in so we're going to be looking at that and seeing how it is going to be affecting you guys okay as we look at february february is always a month where people go um and in in introspect they go in introspect and why they do that is because um the christmas season was so good and then january it's a rush and then people need time to go within. So the month of February is going to be slow. It's the Valentine. So people are basically aware of what is going on. So they go within to find themselves to say that. Okay. And this is what is going to be transpiring. And sometimes it is just good for us to go within, connect with ourselves. So leave the rest and connect to ourselves. So what we're seeing here in the month of march is the um is the empress and this is good this is a wonderful energy because what this is doing for us is that it has given us an understanding of what that is about to come and this is really wonderful and positive because what we're doing is aligning ourselves for what to come in the future so first quarter for the general um is um is um, truths being revealed, going in with, within to connect to yourself to you know kind of figuring out if these truths is a uh, um correct. Let's say it like that, and then we are basically um going to be moving on. Now the extended readings are um below. If you'd like to see the extended readings, it's always good to see the extended readings. To know what is coming up so use the month of january reading which is going to be coming out after this and the extended reading so let's see what is coming out um january going in february um because this first quarter is more of uh, balancing out the emotion okay so it's more of balancing out the emotion so let's see as we look at january january is when it's emotion it's, it's information coming at you it's the light being shed on something that you weren't aware of and now you're finding out something and we have the energy this is the energy that we have january going in february so people are going to be finding out things and realizing that there were outside forces, there was negative influence, um, there were situations that they weren't aware of, uh, there could be negative influence that is going to affect them or that is affecting them because the light is shining on this situation, people and situation. So here we go, um, moving from out of January because we found out something in January that was not uh, vibrating with our own energy vibration. And what we do, is to basically 
go within in the month of February to find out what is better for us and that is um, very very positive because what we see the alignment of energy that is coming up and remember that this year um, is uh, um, um, driven by the Divine Mother and Father so it is the eye princess and the fool so I see a lot of people going within to uh, make a certain decision so that they can move forward and as they leave February they're going to be finding out what it is um, and what is a better direction and what is much better to move forward and this is good because you go in introspect in the month of February and then you're leaving February um, pinpointing the next step the next direction um, seeing the next way how you're going to be working out issues and situation whatever that the light has shed on in January in February you really go within to find out and as you look you're going to be finding that thing and whatever it is it is going to create a lot of uh, abundance for you so when when I you know when you look at this reading it is basically saying as you begin the year you know balance out yourselves because it's all about receiving information knowing something that was not uh, known before and then using that thing going in in the month of February to find out what is the next best um, way to deal with something and then you move forward using that information and what is going to happen is that your angels and guides are going to be providing the tools for you to use in order to move out of February into March. March, the Empress, the nurturing energy is here, but she's also nurturing. She's the mother of Venus. She's the mother of love, but also of abundancy. So this is good because she's going to give you the tools in January to make you make a new um, break and a new decision in your life oh my god oh congratulations so a lot of luck is going to be coming in in these three quarters especially in the month um, of January and uh, yeah all the months because luck comes in when you have information information is the key and luck comes in when you have information so in January some of you will receive information that you weren't aware of in February you're going to go in introspect and then in March you're going to use that information or that information is going to become tools for you to move forward and here we are this first quarter is going to be a very lucky quarter because this is the lucky um, this is unexpected luck coming in luck that you weren't even aware of unexpected things that is going to be happening in the background and this is why I said to a lot of people check out first um, these readings um, before you check out your zodiac sign because what it is is that it gives you an idea of what you will be working with so whatever comes out in January for you it's going to be information and whatever comes out in February you're going to be going within to really seek seek understanding and then you are coming out of this month the energy of the star and the energy of the star in this quarter is just so beautiful it's one of the most beautiful card in the deck because you're coming out being richer than going in and beginning this year so here we are in the three first months so where we're coming out with the energy of the star whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring whatever you have been going through that came back in January that you had to look at you are going to be coming out the energy of the star okay so the energy of the world is here a cycle is going to be finished for some of you okay so a new cycle is going to be starting and a cycle is going to be finished for some of you and whatever the cycle is that is finishing for you let it go let it go because it needs to be let go okay do not force an all on on this cycle it needs to be let go it needs to be removed out of your life so this is um absolutely brilliant um i should say 
um, because there is just so much information that is going to be coming through and we're going to be looking at who they are affecting okay because um, what happened is that um, information comes up and what transpired is that you can use the information to help yourself okay and it is information that is coming in to you and you can use this information to help yourself so okay so let's see what is coming up what are some of you going to be finding out some of you are going to be realizing it is best to move forward it is best to turn your back on a situation and move forward so whatever the uh, whatever light is shining um, it is telling some of you let go of something okay let go and find a new place a new location relocate because of some information that is going to be coming in and showing you the way forward so that was what I said information is going to come in to show you the way forward whether you're at your work whether it's a personal situation whatever is going on information is going to be coming in to show you the way forward okay this is this could affect um, people who are um, dealing um, with whatever the issue and the situation is so I see whether you're going to be changing job changing position how you're going to be moving forward with people on the work floor that sort of a thing is coming up then what we have I see you're going to be finding out the best way to deal with something okay I'm trying to get the lights you are going to be finding out the best way how to deal with something in your life because in February you go within and you find in a light and information because the source is about the thoughts cutting through what you weren't aware of and you go within and you find this in a light and truth and then you're going to be using this information that you have um, found within yourself to move forward in the month of February going into um, March and this is good because you, you you whatever the information that comes out in January you went in yourself thought about it and then you're using it to move out of a situation or to remove yourself from a situation and move forward as we look at um, the energy that is um, end of January beginning of, uh, of February I see you protecting yourself I see you protecting yourself whatever you're protecting yourself from outside influence you're protecting yourself from negative in, uh, influence you're protecting yourself from people and situation that doesn't serve you and this is good because uh, um, you realize and uh, that was what the light came out about it came out about um, receiving information and standing your grounds receiving information where you're standing your grounds and you're saying no you're letting people know no I'm standing my grounds no this is how it is and you need to educate yourself or you need to find the right measures and situation I see some of you protecting yourself um, as you go from February at the end of February end of February going in March I see the magician come and showing you something about a corporation institute say okay so the magician come and showing you something about a corporation institute say and you are using this information to cut through and to stand up for something that is um, incorrect something that is very deceptive and you are seeing this and you want to bring this to a closure and end in um, the first three months of the year which is beautiful because uh, you are going to be finding the strength to do that and you're going to be coming out of as a star you're definitely going to find the strength to do that and you're going to come out as a star and you're going to end this situation okay you're definitely going to be ending this situation so the people who we can um, uh, the people who it's going to be affecting um, it is uh, um, 
the Pisces. Uh, um, the Pisces could be affected. The Cancer Pisces could be affected. Scorpions. Uh, um, uh, and um, I see, yeah. Um, and then we have the Capricorns could be affected. Um, the Tauruses could be affected. So the the um, Scorpion is going to be affected in January. Scorpion and the Leo and the Aquarians is going to be affected in January and the Aries. And I see the Scorpions, the Leos, and the Aquarians are protecting themselves from the Aries. Whatever is going on there, that is what is coming up. Because I see... Um, as if whatever the issue is, all of these people is being associated in January. As we look in February, I see that the Aquarians is leaving a situation that they have found out about moving forward. I see communication is here where they're cutting through. People are cutting through and finding information. So um, the Capricorns are going to, Capricorns and Taurus and Virgo, are going to be dealing with the issue in the month of March and the Aquarians uh, are here. Um, so the, the energy of this this um, first quarter is going to really affect the energy of the Aquarians, okay? It's really going to affect the energy of the Aquarians. So, so well, 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 okay. Um, let's look at what other energies is coming out i'm using the map the uncharted map i think it's one of the most beautiful cards i am also using ooh, daisy the eden room another beautiful deck okay and i am also going to be using another deck that i i think is just so beautiful and it your is your soul journey in this quarter, okay? So, what is the general soul journey for people? Because this is this is new. It's like a new century that is happening. So let's look and see what is your soul journey that is going to be coming up. There's a lot of situation with organization institutes that is going to happen. So here it is. Changes is going to be coming up in this first three months. And you guys are going to say yes, because it's a new year. But it says changes. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Nothing can grow or evolve um, um, without movement. And this is what this first quarter of the year is all about. Okay. Remember um, to pick up your readings. Okay. Then we have balancing um act is coming up this is good um and whenever the balancing ha comes up it is all about you realizing what is happening and what is transpiring for you and this is going to be beautiful because it's going to be bringing beautiful positive energy because you're balancing out things and situation in your life then the last energy that is coming up it is the energy of the ice queen so i see some of you dealing um you could be the ice queen or you're you're taking on the form of the ice cream because you're cutting out stuff so the ice queen is the the ideas of pers uh, perseverance okay non-action entitlement so some of you are going to be persevering through a situation. Some of you are going to take non-action in the month of February. But as you move on, you you know, some of you might feel entailed or not. But this is what is going to be transpiring for you. Because whenever the Ice Queen comes up, it's all about taking things in stride. It's just like backing away, let things work out themselves. And you standing up to whatever negative um, situation that you have to deal with so whatever the issue and the situation is this energy of the ice queen you don't have to worry about it because you're going to be moving out of that situation and moving in positive alignment of energy and saying no to what no longer serves you which is very important uh, saying no to what doesn't serve you say no to people and situations around you so thank you um for coming in there is going to be some disasters, but yeah, negative news is not always good, but a snowstorm and there is going to be some disasters in January and February. 
but as you move into March there's just going to be changes there's going to be influx of information coming um, from um, institutes the organization and that sort of a thing but there's nothing um, huge um, to speak about to say because it's just the normal flow but it's just people are going to be shifting their energies I love you guys um, namaste